preparation labs are places where core samples are transferred. As you may know, core samples, after being extracted from the core hole, they must pass by certain processes in the lab to provide as much information as it can be to support reservoir studies. Let's suppose that you are a new geologist hired, inshallah, by X company. Someday you are sitting in your office and you've got an email from your boss asking you to join a geoscience team on a journey to core preparation lab. As a new member in geoscience team, you may wonder why should I go to core preparation lab? What are the objectives? How important is the visit? What is the value? A lot and a lot of questions that will cross your mind at that moment. But believe me, it's the visit that represents a free course full of useful information that you will learn and apply in your work. So to add value to your experience as a geologist or a geoscientist. So before we talk about the objectives of core preparation lab visit, let's recognize the process that core samples go through when they reach the core preparation lab. Core tubes are shipped from the well site to core sample preparation lab to go through the following process in order. The first process is the receipt where core barrels will be unloaded and unpacked from boxes. They must be counted during the unpacking to confirm the number by comparing with company list. The list must be brought when unloading core tubes from the truck. The technicians must check the parallel lines and depth numbers written on core tubes, as the numbers should be written at the both ends of every tube to indicate top and bottom of core sample as we can see here. Next one is computer tomography, which is CT, sc CT scanning. Objective is to carry out CT scan to detect any geological features that would impact core sample preparation process and analysis, such as fractures, high porosity, shell content, heterogeneity, etc. This process can be applied on cores with or without liners. This is based on the company requirements and directions. Usually cores are preferred to be kept in liners to preserve the original fluid and prevent evaporation. Prevent evaporation. Also, the CT scan can be done on full core length or on slapped core as you can see here or on core plugs. Next one is core gamma ray logging. Logging is done by using a certain machine to detect the radioactive content of the, ro of, of, of the, uh, of the core. Uh, it's preferred to be applied on uh, core samples when in liners or barrels, so to preserve original fluids, but still can be done without even. Core gamma ray logging assist to set the core at the right depth in geological well section by doing core log depth matching. Next one is liners or tubes removal. In this stage, liners removed to prepare core samples for the rest of the process, which is plugging and slabbing and core photography. During removal of core samples from liners, technicians should mind the availability of parallel lines, the black and the red lines, as both indicate the core orientation, top and bottom, on core samples right after extracting from tubes. Next one is layout and marking. In this stage, technicians lay wooden boxes and mark them with tops and bottoms depths. If parallel lines were not drawn by the well site geologist in the field on core samples, then the technician can draw the parallel lines on each sample as they take them out of tube. It's a very important step and it must be done carefully so to avoid placing core samples ups, upside down in the box. Technicians also put core samples in the boxes and again they need to pay attention to core orientation top and bottom. If core samples are broken then technicians should try to do fit or core fit pieces process. If they couldn't, they may draw the attention of company representative, who is the focal point and supervisor of core samples, transportation and unloading at core preparation lab. Also, technicians should make sure that gaps, gaps are considered, as we can see in the sketch here, because gaps are usually associated with poor core sample recovery 
in the field. Then next one is sample selection and preservation. In this stage, certain samples will be selected for special core analysis. Samples can be either one foot or three feet. If it's three feet, then it's considered for full core analysis. Then we move to the next one, which is core plugging. Plugs are selected as per company directions. So what are plugs? Plugs are cylindrical shaped rocks, rock pieces extracted from the core by using special type of bits, as we can see here. They are important to carry out conventional core analysis and special core analysis. The major plug orientation to be cut is generally horizontal and vertical and sometimes oblique and this is of course based on the company directions then we move to the next one which is slabbing so what it's, it's the process where core samples are cut into two parts using an electrical saw machine like, like the one we see here and this is slapped core cutting criteria is usually one to third or two to third depends on the objective from slabbing. Uh, slabbing is essential for for next sample preparation process, which is digital imaging, core digital imaging, core logging, or or, or description. Uh, then the next one is digital imaging, which is uh, core photography. In this stage, core samples are placed on metal platform for photo shooting using high resolution camera. Uh, there are two types of photos taken for each set of core sample uh, one with day or normal light and the other one with ultraviolet light companies need core photos to do to, uh, for uh, for uh, to identify geological characteristics of the reservoir rock such as faces face variation bit thickness uh, uh, col color contrast fractures faults etc Ultraviolet photos help to identify the intervals uh, of saturated hydrocarbon. Next one and the last one and last two uh, uh, processes is preservation and presentation. Preservation is used to prevent uh, pre prevent core deterioration conditions uh, with time, especially for unconsolidated cores. So samples should be wrapped with film, foil, or wax. And play, uh, or placed in uh, barrier lamini. Uh, then presentation, where all the obtained data from core, from uh, all core processes, uh, number of core samples and boxes, uh, core spectral gamma ray log, core image, a list of numbers and depths of plugs, all must be sent as digital format and hard copies, including documents and CDs. The visit is not for chat conversations with the technicians there at the lab, nor just to look at the core samples. As a geologist, you have got some duties to be done in the lab, from technical discussion to practical tasks. So let's go through each phase of core preparation processes and see what you can do in every one. Geoscience skills. Thank you for keeping learning.